A little known fact about yours truly. I spent some time playing ball over in Asia. I ain't gonna sugarcoat it for you. Kenny fucking Powers is a fan of the Asian persuasion. I fucking love me some Oriental women. Hell, it's a borderline fetish, dog. Those delicate, exotic creatures are like a breath of fresh air in a world full of plain vanilla. And let me tell you something, they love me too. I dated a Korean woman once, and let me tell you, it was a wild motherfucking ride. She was feisty as hell, always arguing with me and calling me out on my bullshit. But man, when we got together in the bedroom, it was like fireworks going off. I don't know if it was the spicy food or what, but she had some moves that would make a grown man weep. She slurped my noodle like some fucking bibimbap. And you know what? I loved it. I loved every goddamn minute of it, even when she was screaming at me in Korean, and I had no idea what she was saying. Did her pussy taste like kimchi? You bet it did. That's the spice of life, hombre. So yeah, I may not have understood her culture, but I sure as hell understood her curves. Hell. While we're strolling down memory lane, this reminds me of my first time in Japan. And this fat man was looking to drop his little boy on some Japanese pussy. I was walking through the streets of Shibuya when I saw her. She had black hair, almond-shaped eyes, and an ass that was worthy of the man with the golden dick. I approached her with the smoothest pickup line I could think of. Suki, Suki, five dollar? She didn't understand me, but she must have liked my fucking swagger because she smiled and nodded. We went to a karaoke bar and things started heating up. I was fucking crushing Stay With Me by Miki Matsubara, and she was grinding on me like a pole dancer. We stumbled out of the bar and made our way to my hotel room. As soon as we got there, we started tearing each other's clothes off. I was in for a treat when I saw her pubic hair, which was shaped like a dragon. I must have ate her little bento box for hours. We did the deed, and it was wild. She was moaning in Asian, and I was grunting in American. I folded that bitch like origami. Afterward, we lay there panting and sweating. I asked her what her name was, but she didn't understand me. I settled for calling her Sushi because that's all I knew about Japan at the time. The next morning, I woke up to find her gone. I was disappointed, but I had learned something important. Language barriers don't matter when it comes to fucking. I realized that there's more to life than just banging chicks and being a badass. Sometimes you you need to open yourself up to new experiences and learn from them. And that's what I did with my fling with Sushi. And that's fucking life essay. Get out there and fucking live it.